What's going on, buddy? Al here. Street Sense. My top 10 fragrances for the fall and winter of 2019 going into 2020. I'm going to show you 10 fragrances I reach for the most when the leaves are falling, when it's freezing outside, when it's cold, when it's icy, when it's snowing. I'm going to show you five designer and five niche. Let's get started. Designer first. Number 10. It's not a new release, came out quite a few years ago. It smells really good, it lasts, it projects, it gets compliments. What is it? From the house of Versace, Eros, number 10. This fragrance opens up really sweet. I get a candy-like sweetness in the opening. It reminds me of a lemon Starburst candy. I know there's apple in the breakdown, I barely get any apple, I get more lemon, sweet, candy-like with some mint after like a few minutes the mint kicks in it pops in and out and then you get tonka bean to round out the fragrance this lasts all day on my skin it projects really good it gets a lot of compliments versace eros number 10. it's great to go clubbing to a party it's a great fragrance overall it does its thing number nine this made me go on a manhunt for any fragrance that had iris if it had iris i had to get my nose on it what is it? From the house of Dior, Dior Omen Tents, number nine. Now the iris in this fragrance is so sexy. The opening, you got that lipstick makeup kind of vibe. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it is breathtaking. Then you're gonna get some vanilla, some cocoa, and like a cookie dough kind of vibe that rounds out the fragrance. This right here is a classic, a classic, came out Back in the days, it had a lot of hype when it came out. Everybody was talking about this fragrance. And so then it kind of took like a backseat. You don't hear too much talk about Dior Omen Tense, DHI. I'm bringing it back in my rotation for 2019, 2020, because this is a classic masterpiece. Dior Omen Tense, number nine. The iris in here is so sexy. Back in the days, when I first smelled Dior Ohm, I hated that fragrance. I couldn't stand it. I had a sample. It it made me want to vomit. I revisited the sample and it was like love at first sniff. I couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa. And then when I got my nose on this, forget about it. Dior Omen Tense. This is a masterpiece. Can't sleep on this juice right here. Number eight. It's a newer release from the house of Dior. Now I love Dior. Dior makes some great designer fragrances. They put out hit after hit to my nose. What is it? A newer release, Dior Sauvage. Parfum. Check it out. Now this smells like the original Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum, but it's a little different. It's more, it's richer, it's darker, it's more mature. The original Dior Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette was loud. The Eau de Parfum had like a vanilla kind of vibe to it. It was a little darker, but this takes it to another level of darkness. It's smoother, it's a better blend. The only thing about this fragrance that I dislike is the performance. It doesn't last like the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum lasts a long time on my skin and projects like crazy. This kind of lacks in those categories. But the way it smells is, it's amazing the way it smells. I love the way it smells probably better than the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, but the performance, it's, it lacks. That's okay though. I'm still gonna rock it a lot because I love the way it smells and I'll carry an atomizer. I'll make a decant and I'll carry a decant. If I need to refresh, I'll refresh. But it is a more richer and darker, more mysterious Dior Sauvage to my nose. Number eight, Dior Sauvage Pure Parfum. Number seven is from the house of Gucci. Now Gucci back in the days had some amazing fragrances. As time went on, they got kind of weak. They got Gucci Guilty Porom and all the flankers, a lot of safe scents until this came out. Number seven, Gucci Intense Oud. This right here who takes you on a journey. It's dark out, you're walking through the forest, you're smelling all these different kind of woods in the air. Like maybe it finished raining, it just finished raining outside. So the earth is kind of damp. So you're smelling all these different things in the air. You're getting the earthy kind of vibe, the woods. You smell some incense, somebody's burning incense in the woods, you're getting an incense kind of vibe and like a little bit of coffee thrown in there. So it's a very mysterious dark fragrance. It's hard to describe because it takes you in different angles. It reminds me of Nasimato Black Afghano, but then it goes in its own direction. 
It's a great fragrance. Lasts a long time. Perfect for the fall and winter. Gucci Intense Oud, number seven. Number six, from the house of Victor and Rolf. To me, this fragrance smells better than the original. What is it? Spice Bomb Extreme. This is sweet in the opening. Now, it smells a lot like the original Spice Bomb, but this has an amped up vanilla. It's more sweeter than the original. Similar, but sweeter. The vanilla in here is sweet, but it takes me to another level. It has the cinnamon, like a tobacco kind of vibe. It reminds me of the original, but with the amped up vanilla and amped up performance. This lasts like crazy on my skin. I get a lot of compliments. I love the way it smells. Spice Bomb Extreme, number six. To me, this is better than the original. Some people like the original better, and I respect that. But me, I love this. I love this better than the original. I'm saying it right here. Spice Bomb Extreme, number six on my list. I get a lot of compliments with this juice. Number five. Gotta have a Parfums de Marley in the top 10, right? This is a new release from Parfums de Marley, Kalan. Parfums de Marley, Kalan. Look at that bottle. Sexy bottle, the nice sleek red. I love the way it looks. Just, it's perfect, right? It looks really good on your shelf, in your collection. It would look awesome. Got the heavy cap, typical Parfums de Marley. What does Kalan smell like? Now, this is a unique scent. To me, this is unique. It opens up, you get this citrus, but then you're gonna get like a burning kind of rubber kind of vibe in there. I know it sounds crazy, but I get like a burning rubber, maybe burning almond. Let's say like a burning almond. Now, people have said this smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. I could see that because it has that burning almond in the opening that takes you throughout the dry down, and Baccarat Rouge has that burning cotton candy. So I could see it smelling a little bit like Baccarat Rouge with that burning kind of vibe thing going on. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I like the way it smells. It's unique. At first I was like, what is this? But then I got to, you know, play around with it and wear it more. And that burning rubber almond with the citrus in the opening, the blood orange, it is very unique and it, it, you gotta give it like a chance. You gotta give it a chance. It, I, it started to grow on me. The more I wear it, the more I like it. So then you have that burning almond. Let's say like a burning almond. And then you're gonna get the spices are gonna kick in. And some woods, like an earthy kind of vibe with spices, with this burning almond. But, but the burning almond kind of tones down as the fragrance takes its course. It's still there in the background, but it's more like a tonka almond that amps up. It's a really unique fragrance that I, I really like. I'm enjoying, the more I wear it, the more I like it. It's, it's something you have to just try. I would not recommend you blind buy this. Just try it and see it for yourself. But it's a unique, awesome fragrance. I think it's awesome because it's unique. It lasts, and it will get you compliments because it's so unique, it's so different. Parfums de Marley, Kalan, number five. Look at that bottle. Burning almond. Sounds weird, but it's, it works. It's really good. I, I like it. You gotta try it. Come on, number five on my list. Number four. Have to have a Tom Ford in the top 10 fall and winter. At least I do. This fragrance right here, when I first smelled it, I had a sample. I wore I love the way it smelled, first of all. I love the way it smelled right off the bat. But I felt like it didn't last. So I think spent some time with it. Now I feel like it's lasting, it's projecting, and it's getting me a lot of compliments, and I love the way it smells. The more I wear it, the more I love it. What is it? Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Lost Cherry, man. This is the best cherry fragrance I've ever smelled. Honestly, the cherry in this is intoxicating. I mean, it, it's so natural. It just smells like a real cherry. It's just amazing. Such a natural, awesome cherry in the opening. And then you're gonna get some almond with like a powdery kind of vibe to round out the fragrance. It just it's just breathtaking. I can't even speak. That's how good this fragrance is. The more I wear it, the more I love it. I will feature this on Street Sense. Uh, Street Sense Lost Cherry is coming soon with a special guest. I have something special lined up for this, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited. But overall, Lost Cherry is a winner. Best cherry fragrance I've ever smelled. At least to my, this is to my nose. You might disagree, you might say something else is better, and I respect that, but to me, this is, this is straight up amazing. Lost Cherry, number four. That bottle, look at that bottle. Another red bottle. A lot of red here. <laughs> Number three, another Tom Ford. Man, 
Tom Ford fragrances, I'm loving them more and more. The more I smell them, the more I love them. I mean, I go way back with Tom Ford with Tobacco Vanille, Tuscan Leather, Noir de Noir, a lot of classics that I love throughout the years. Honorable mention, Tobacco Vanille. It's not in the top 10, but it, is, it has a special place in my heart to my nose. Right now, number three, I'll be rocking this a lot in the fall and winter 2019, 2020. It's gonna be in my rotation. What is it? Oud Wood. This fragrance right here. The Oud Wood in this is so smooth, it's so silky. It's sexy, it's got a sandalwood, Oud Wood that, that just takes me, it just takes me there. The way this fragrance is blended, it's like a little powdery. The woods are so smooth, they're so sexy. I love the way this smells. It does it for me. It lasts, it projects, I get compliments. I love the way it smells. Tom Ford Oud Wood. That sandalwood, Oud Wood combination is one of the best I've smelled. I wasn't sure I was gonna really be into Oud back in the days and as I got started to rock more and more Oud, I'm loving it. I'm loving Oud more and more these days. And this right here is a classic. Tom Ford Oud Wood number three. This lasts like crazy on my skin. Some people say it doesn't last. Me, it lasts all day. I get crazy performance and compliments and the way it smells on my skin, it just does it for me. I'll be rocking this a lot. Oud Wood, number three. All right, number two. This was a love at first sniff. This fragrance right here, I smelled it, I fell in love. It's another red theme. Man, I got a lot of red theme bottles in my top 10. This is from Maison Francis Kershon MFK Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum. This right here is, I can't even speak. That's how good this fragrance is. I love the way this smells. It's got that burnt cotton candy. It's sweet. It's so smooth. It just, it's one of those fragrances that you put it on and you feel really good. It feels like when you're wearing this, it disappears, but it comes back full force. That cotton candy sweetness is something I never smelled. And like I said, when I first got my nose on this juice, it was like love at first sniff. I couldn't believe how good this smelled. I had to get it in the collection. It's here, it's number two on my list. It gets a ton of compliments. People gravitate to towards this fragrance. You wear this, you're gonna get a lot of compliments. It's gonna last, it does its thing. Sexy, classy, it just does it. Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum, number two on my list. I love this juice. The time has come, number one. Now when this fragrance came out, it was the reviews were kind of 50-50, more on the hate side, I wanna say. As time went on, this came out in 2017. People are loving it more and more. I'm reading more positive things about this fragrance. People are like complimenting this fragrance. They're giving it the props that it deserves. Now I love this when it first came out. I did a review, I did a Street Sense. To me, this fragrance is amazing. What is it? It's from the House of Creed. Not Aventus, but Viking. Creed Viking, number one on my list. This is a masterpiece. It's spicy, it's got an aquatic kind of vibe. It's got like a fire meets ice kind of thing. Spice, aquatic, it's got ambergris, it's fresh. It's such a great, spicy, warm, woody, fragrance that is perfect for the fall and winter. It gets a lot of compliments. I wore this to a wedding and I got so many compliments. Now a lot of my family members, they wear Creed. A lot of my cousins, relatives, friends, they wear Creed because they watch my videos because of me. And when I went to a wedding, everybody was wearing a Ventus or Green Arch Tweed. I wore this when it first came out and I shocked everybody. They were like, what is that? And I was getting compliments right and left. This is spicy. It's got the woods, it's got the aquatic, it's got the fresh. It's got a lot of different things going on and it's perfect for the fall and winter. Creed Viking, this is my number one go-to fragrance. I'll be rocking this a lot when the leaves are falling, when it's cold outside. Take a look, another red fragrance, man. All these bottles are red, that's crazy. But there you have it. That's my top 10 fragrances for the fall and winter of 2019 going into 2020. Five designer, five niche, that's how I like to do it. I hope you enjoyed this list. Let me see the comments, comment down below. Let me know what's your top 10 fragrances for the fall and winter. You could do all designer, all niche, or five and five like I did. Five designer, five niche. Hit that subscribe button, show Street Sense some love. I hope you enjoyed my top 10. 
I'm gonna be rocking these fragrances like crazy. You know, I'm gonna give honorable mentions to Tobacco Vanille, Aventis, because you know I'll be rocking those, but I don't wanna keep showing Aventis every year. But I will be rocking those as well, with some others. Initial Parfums, Rehab, Side Effect, I tried them, they smell amazing. I don't own them in my collection yet, I will soon. So they'll probably make next year's top 10 because those are some amazing fragrances as well. There's a lot out there, so much out there. But this is my top 10. These are what I'm gonna be rocking for the fall and winter of 2019 going into 2020. Once again, thank you so much for all the support. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you real soon with the Street Sense. Stay tuned for the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Street Sense coming soon, I'm excited. Look out for that. Plus I have a bunch of other videos lined up. Hopefully I can make it all happen. Thank you so much, I'll see you later. A lot of red, wow.